This is an ABC podcast. If you're just tuning in, this is the Country Hour and we're out in Darwin's rural area under a shade house I'm with NT farmer Mick Jacoby and it's harvest time. Tell us what's going on. G'day Matt. Uh, so today we're uh, starting our first uh, commercial harvest of the ginger crop. Uh, end of the first growing season now. We've, um, we've only just harvested a few sample bags just to see what was in them um, in the last couple of months just to get a bit of an idea and uh, now we're going to find out the, the real deal, exactly what's happened in the last 12 months and how we've fared. Yeah, so under this shade house are just bags and bags of, of soil and, and, and ginger plants. Can you explain to our audience what it looks like and what you're doing? Ah, well, we've used tree bags this year or this last season. Um, so they're just a, a sort of woven poly bag um, like you'd see in your nursery where you buy your, your, your trees to take home and plant. And the soil's actually coconut. Um, it's come from Sri Lanka of all places. Um, and then, yeah, we've just had to throttle the water back because the ginger wouldn't stop growing. Um, and so we, we wanted the foliage to die off and... Um, and for the rhizome to sort of reabsorb all the carbohydrates out of the foliage. Uh, so it, it looks sad when you come in here. The leaves are all brown and dead and everything's sort of folded over. And uh, it's exactly what we want to see now. We sort of sweep the foliage aside, cut the bags open and spill them out on the mesh bench and see what treasures are inside. And so far, how's it looking? Um, well, like I said, we've only done a couple of sample bags, but um, the first one had 2,000%. Uh, weight gain so we got we got uh, 20 over 20 times weight gain in that first bag and the second bag was 3,000 percent so yeah over 30 times weight gain Um, they were two of our I mean all our bags are numbered and barcoded so we know exactly what went in and the variety and all the information that we put in at planting time Um, and so yeah now we're just going to go through and and see if that's a you know replica uh, a, a good sample of the of the whole trial or not we were just lucky on those two bags um so yeah we'll be we opening the bags up individually weighing the rhizome from each bag um and just and just assessing and and separating for the the best of the best will go back and be replanted and then depending on you know going on those numbers we could end up between with between one ton and and 1.8 tons really so um as we harvest we'll know more and and we'll um We'll sort of um, we've got a few ideas in mind what we'll do from here forwards. Um, and when you do replant the best of the best, is it being replanted in the shade house or out into the paddock? No, it'll all go in the shade house again. So we've we had 550 bags this last season, and we're going to have 3,500 bags um, when we replant in October. Um, and so yeah, we'll be it'd be a substantial expansion. The stuff that doesn't get replanted, what will you do with that ginger? Um, well. Depending on the volume, well, we've got to, there's some exciting things. As I've had some interest from um, from a few of the local businesses. There's um, One Mile Brewery and the Purple Mango. Um, they do alcoholic ginger beer um, and also ginger infused beers. And then uh, Marion from the Harvest Press. She's um, the champion uh, health juicer in Darwin, and she's she's uh, she struggles sometimes to get hold of um, ginger at a you know at a price that that will work for her commercially so um yeah these guys have all put their hand up and said we're keen to to grab any excess um i'm sure we won't have have too much trouble finding a home for it um and then i actually just spoke to rob hall at the export um, hub this morning and um i've been uh having discussions with a uh, importer in singapore and um we're hoping to be able to just stick three or four cartons on a plane they've got a five days a week plane going to singapore straight out of darn which is really really excellent for for darwin for territory farmers for our produce um so we're, we're actually hoping that we can stick a few cartons on just even just as a sample um and just say guys what do you think and what well, you know can we talk so you, we'll keep you posted on that one map but yeah that could be pretty exciting too so you're a year into this project there's talk of exports <laughs> you're happy with how all this is going uh, ask me in a week when I've harvested all the bags. Um, but yeah, look, I'm, I'm very happy, Matt. It's gone exceptionally well. Um, and I think what we've learnt this year, um, and we, you know, I think we're going to next year, or this next growing season, I think just with what we've learnt this year, it's, um, 
we're really optimising our system for next year. We've got um, a lot of tech going in. We've got some probes that will monitor, monitor everything. We've done it all manually this time round, and there's um, there's been a bit of hit and miss with the human error stuff side of it, and it's still performed exceptionally well. So um, to have you know electronic monitoring systems and automated fertigation and irrigation, and um, that should give us a lot more consistency, hopefully, and um, that might even you know um, take a few of the dips out as well. Um, um, and you know who knows that we might be able to have a increase our average or um, yeah. So I'm I'm I'm, op, I'm optimistic that um, we just scratch the surface and if the trial's any indication of of what's possible, then yeah, I think this has really got legs. Well, thanks for your time on the Country Hour today. And next time we talk ginger, let's organise some ginger beers, eh? Well, if you uh, if you come and visit in about a week's time, I'll probably can sort that out. <laughs> You've been listening to an ABC podcast. Discover more great ABC podcasts, live radio and exclusives on the ABC Listen app.